Not an overcast, windy day in southeast Texas. We're just outside of Houston, of course, and pro stock competition continues at the line. Alan Johnson and Erica Enders. They'll be the next pair down the track. Meanwhile, at the top end, standing by here with Greg Stanfield. Greg, I know there's been concerns about sponsorship, and you've had some deals that haven't worked out. And, boy, that's always painful to absorb. Is your team in any jeopardy, or are you going to be able to keep competing? Oh, we're going to we're going to keep competing, Gary. You know, it sucks when you think you got something, you know, a good deal going, and it turns out to not be a good deal. But uh, we got, I got good people behind me. You got Kenny Koretsky with Nitro Fish, Bob Yonke, uh, J.D. Coffin, the Coffin Tank and Trucks, Greg Hill. This great car we've been running for three years, so uh, we're going to be out here. You know, we're going to have to tighten up the budget a little bit, and, and uh, we're going to we're going to do it. And a guy deserves credit because he's number three in points. Ellen Johnson. Erica, this is her home race on the tour. She lives over in New Orleans. I tell you, Erica, in the previous session, she was second. Well, she actually was tied with Roger Brogdon. They were the two quickest in these conditions. Now, even though she's in the bottom half, if she can make a very good run here, that'll give her a lot of confidence going into tomorrow's eliminations. Let's see what Erica can do. She won here in Supergas wow, nice in 2004, 662 for Allen. It's a 776. Doesn't change things for either one, but that's a nice run for Erica Those are two, in this condition. Yeah, two yeah, very good runs in these conditions. She, like I said, she won't have lane choice in the first round, but something to work with right now. 